That's the thing. I just uploaded a video and I was uh, made aware in the comments that it was a lazy video. I, I knew that. I knew it was a lazy video. But I thought that I could pass it off because it was just walking you through. I thought you would be bored. <laughs> so the thing is that we will be using a package called Next Themes, which just uh, takes care of the dark mode and everything else for you. So basically what you would be doing is you would manually have, would have to do this. So in the, the thing is, in Tailwind, you will see that uh, when this page loads, there will be an HTML lang English over here. And um, when we add next themes to this, uh, we just add a class named light or dark over here in, in the HTML tag, which tells the components or tells Tailwind whether to show the dark version or the light version of that component. So uh, that's how this works. And we'll have to do that uh, ourselves. And that tells the Tailwind components whether to show the dark version of the app or the light. So for example, right here, we specify different classes for the dark mode and the uh, light mode. So we need to tell Tailwind somehow um, that we are using the dark mode right now or are we using the light mode right now or are we using the system default right now. So that's basically what Next Themes does. So let's add Next Themes and then we'll move on. Uh, I think this uh, this is very well explained on ShadCN's website, shadcn.ui, this one. So if you go to documentation and you check out the dark mode section of this uh, documentation, you go to Next.js, uh, you'll see uh, what it is, how to add a dark mode to your app. So first we'll have to create a theme provider, which will I'll just copy it from here, but I'll explain it uh, how it works. Let's go to source. Let's go to components. There is nothing in components. So let's create a new. This is the React component that we are creating right here. Let's paste our thing and then everything is fine. Now the thing what is happening here is that this component right here, this component will add dark mode to our entire thing. So it will add the classes. It will take care of all the other implementations that uh, that we need to apply dark mode to our app. And as you can see, this is a client component. So that's why we need to specify a different component right here because this, is a, this works on the client and not on the server. It takes our app and puts it right here in place of the children because now our app will be a child of this next themes provider. So we'll go to our layout. So the basically the main page of our app and I'll just paste this from uh, Shad UI again. I'm gonna take this right here. This is next themes. This does very little to do with ShadCN's component library or with this website at all. It is just next theme. This website just has a nice tutorial for how to apply it. So I'm going to wrap my body with this and I'm going to put it right here. I will put it inside of the body. And that is that. Next, let's see what do we have to do. We have to add a toggle button. So let's get the code for the toggle button. Let's create a new component for the toggle button. Now you will notice that we have a lot of components missing. Let's add all of these components from ShadCN's UI. Now, if you don't know what this is, what this library is, this is a component library. It's a copy and paste library. You can copy the code directly from here as well in the, you know, you can copy it and use it in your own app. But uh, this library also gives a nice CLI tool right here to add all the components. You know, it will be, it will be easier. It, configure it, it configures everything for you and it takes care of everything. So I prefer using the CLI tool. Uh, we need, we need a button. We need Redix UI React icons. So let's, uh, let's uh, do this first. And while this happens, we'll go to button and drop down menu. Have we initialized? We haven't initialized uh, this library in our app yet. So let's go and initialize it. Install it go over here. We have an app created and this is what initializes it. Let's go to PNPM and do it. Now I was talking about the configurations, right? It does certain configurations to our Next.js app and it helps us work with the, their component better. That's what we are doing. We are configuring our Next.js app right now. Yes, I would. I would never not use TypeScript. Default, just keep. Now this, the, our globals uh, file is in source app and globals. So we are not in app slash Google. We, we are using a source directory. So we use it.
Now we already have a tailwind config dot ts, which will be replaced by a tailwind config uh, dot js right now. Uh, so we'll have to delete the ts at all because we don't really need it. We'll just take the js uh, configuration. And now we will be able to add our button and our drop down menu easily. And it will be configured. It will have primary colors. The theme will be taken care of. Everything will be fine. So let's wait for this to happen. Let's now go back and add our button and drop down menu, which will be very easy to add now. I mean, there's no way we couldn't have, we could have added it at this point because you wouldn't know where to put, because the CNI tool wouldn't know where to put the components or do anything, how where the styles are, anything like that. This keeps all that information where the CSS file is, where the config file is, what the base color is, everything. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, now, as you can see, this is done. This is this is uh, not throwing any more errors right now. And now our installation is complete. Let's go to dev. And before that, okay, so there's no change right now. We need to create a toggle button, which we just created from Shadzi. And it's just a simple drop down menu and a button that uses the theme, uh, use theme from, it comes from next themes itself. And it sets the theme, whatever you want. So you can use this entire component or you can use set theme Alexa. Uh, oh, sorry, I just switched on to another language, sorry. Uh, you can uh, switch, uh, you know, themes uh, wherever you want to switch themes from. I'm going to use this component to switch themes from. And I'm going to take this component. I'm going to go to my layout and I'm right after the children. I'm going to use this thing. I'm going to zap it, add it. And then I'm going to give it an absolute positioning. So we are getting an error. It cannot get Lucid React. Now I, I know where this error is coming from and I'm going to fix it right now. So there is the error and apparently it has to do something with the versions of Next.js and um, in Lucid React. So we'll de uh, degrade Lucid React and upgrade Next. We're going to run yarn again to install our new packages, the new version of our packages at least. I'm going to run it again and let's see if that fits the problem or not. Okay, yeah, that works. And as you can see, our toggle is right here, a theme toggle that is absolutely positioning. Let's change it to light mode. Wow. Great, right? So that's how this works. That's what I wanted to show you in the last video. You use next themes, which takes care of everything. Now I will show you what I was talking about earlier. Look at this. The class changes to dark. So our, our app knows which mode to show. This class goes to each component. It, it is carried forward to each of the children. And then it checks. All right. What is the style for the dark component? So if you go to a page, it will tell all right, dark from black via black. This is the style. For the dark version of this component, this is the style, you know, things like that. And that's how it switches everything. So if you, it's not even visible. The nav bar is not even visible. <laughs> All right. So we'll, we'll stay here and we'll change it right here. So that's how it works.